Welcome once again to this special edition of the League of the Genuine uh, Conversations with Fred Mwema. I happen to be a host today as well. Uh, Rachel is indisposed, but she'll be with us next uh, weekend. Uh, today, uh, of course, as uh, a host and guest, uh, basically, I am going to set the questions, write the exam, uh, and mark it as well. I don't know if my producers will allow me to do that, because this is a show that promotes consumption uh, of genuine products and delivery of genuine services. So I guess I should be having uh, a company here in, in the studio. I actually have a guest, uh, a special guest who will be joining us. But as a recap from last week, uh, those who have been following us, last week we did a summation, a sum up on uh, uh, petroleum products. We finished with LPG gas. Uh, we promised you that uh, we shall have uh, a brand new uh, discussion this week. Uh, our discussion uh, will be from farm to fork, basically food. We're in a festive season, and I know that the major activity, apart from celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ, will be eating. So in the studio, we have a special guest, uh, Mr. Kenneth. Akatungusa, the name disturbs me, yeah. but you can tell us the <laughs> proper names. Mm. Thank you, Council. My name is uh, Kenneth Katungisa. Kenneth Katungisa, can I call you yes. KK? Yeah. Sure. There, there are many popular KKs. Perfect. Kenneth so Kawunda. Everyone calls me KK. Kaleta Iwura, yeah. something like that. So <laughs> we have Kenneth here, is the CEO of the Uganda National Farmers, Farmers Federation. Federation. So, so can you tell the, the viewers, a federation means you federate with other associations. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. Um, the federation in this case is uh, uh, an apex body of farmers organization in, in the country. Mm. Uh, and it's a federation because we have farmer associations, we have commodity specific associations, uh, we have district level, national level. Um, companies like input dealers and what have you, so that's what makes it a federation. Uh, we have over 120 of those and about 3 million individual farmers. 3 million farmers? Yeah. So you have from all sectors? We have from all sectors and we have from all districts uh, in Uganda. We have structures that can get to any farmer in, in any corner of, of Uganda. And um, that's why I said we have some spe commodity specific organizations but we also have homogeneous groups uh, that uh, you find a, a district farm association that has livestock farmers, um, maize farmers, bean farmers, and all the, all the things. Okay, so Kenneth, uh, <coughs> you've been a CEO for the Federation for how long? Uh, for six years now. Ah, six years. Yeah. Deputy and, CEO uh, for four and CEO for two. CEO for two. Yeah. So, so what is the, before we go into the subject now, mm -hmm. what is the main objective uh, of the of the federation what what are you setting out to do the, the federation uh, right from inception yeah. was formed as a, uh, to be a, a voice of the farmers uh, to influence policy uh, but also to deliver to help uh, deliver the right services uh, to the farmers uh, but our core mandate is, is, is policy influence uh, where uh, and, and to do that, we sit on almost every government um, uh, committee, whether technical, uh, to ensure that whatever policy is passed is pro farmers. Mm. And if we find an issue with any policy, specific policy, we have a process of interacting with our members, getting their views on what they think should be right, and then taking it up with the, the, the powers that be, you know, through the different parliamentary committees. Um, up to the up to the, up to, Yeah. <coughs> okay, Kenneth, yesterday you... <clears throat> you participated in uh, launching a partnership yeah. with the League of the Genuine, the anti counterfeit Network, and QD Such and Suchy. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell the viewers why it was important uh, for the Federation at this particular time to come and be part of this? Well, it, it was very important because um, one of the greatest challenges of the sector, especially for the smallholder farmer, is access to genuine inputs, uh, and inputs abroad. 
so it, it was important because the League of the Genuine, especially the SCN, has been at this for a long time, fighting counterfeit. Uh, and, and, and the Federation members are having issues with the counterfeit. So it's a, the partnership is a win-win for us. Mm. So we are joining hands with people that are technically competent in this fight and we also have the members that can generate the data, the research, the information that is needed to help the fight against counterfeit. So for us, the, the, it's, it's critical because as we move to an era of, uh, uh, we are already in the era of climate change, already we have so many challenges with pests and diseases, the last thing you want is for those to be riding on top of uh, uh, inputs that are not good enough from the beginning. Uh, so this is why we joined but, this partnership. But Kenneth, uh, for us here <coughs> at the anti counterfeit Network, mm. we have uh, observed a worrying trend. Mm. The uptake uh, and increase of uh, fake agriculture inputs, right from uh, seedlings to the inorganic fertilizers and so on, has gone up to the extent that currently on the market, uh, I think for herbicides, uh, up to 50% is uh, fake. Mm -hmm. So do you take some blame as a federation? Are you doing enough to push your farmers into the uh, proper channels for getting product? Or what are you doing in that area? I, 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 I don't know whether I should say we take the blame, but uh, I think everyone in the sector should take some part of the blame because mm -hmm. uh, this is a joint, uh, it should be a joint effort. The fact that there are fakes on the market is a problem for everyone. And it means someone or all of us are not doing some, some certain things that, that, that should add up to, to stop counterfeit. So I, I think um, uh, for our part, all we can do is always informing our members where to get genuine products, where to get genuine seed, where to get genuine hose, where to get genuine